So my lovely bushes, we've got our first gameplay look at Master Roshi. Out of nowhere, V-Jump has posted a full video, which I'll leave a link down below if you guys want to watch it on your own. And in it, Master Roshi is actually played. We're going to look at all the Master Roshi clips that were shown during that video, as well as break down some of his moves. And I think these gameplay clips actually answer a lot of questions we had, but not all of them, not yet at least. Still, I wasn't expecting anything like this today, so I'll take it. We also got a release date, and this character is actually coming out next week. September 18th is the release date. September 16th for those who hold the season pass. First we got Master Roshi here in the character select screen. I can see that is A assist, even though we don't see the assist during gameplay. It says Kamehameha, followed by a kanji. Not sure if that's the reverse Kamehameha, but his A assist is a form of a Kamehameha, so I look forward to seeing it. We quickly go through some of his uh, color variations. We don't see color 2, which usually is a reference to something, but uh, yeah, color 9 straight up gives him the Goku colors. I actually like this look a lot. Jumping into the match, we first see his intro. I'm just gonna let it play out. <laughs> And it's gameplay time. Right off the bat, we see a kind of super jump into a reverse Kamehameha. Now, we're going to talk about this uh, super jump a bit later in the video because the player does it a bit more often. But this is, I believe, the replacement for Super Dash. I think this is what happens when you press the Super Dash button. And it's that as well as the reverse Kamehameha that are going to be his aerial options. Now, the reverse Kamehameha is actually a combo starter. So it works just like a Super Dash. If you Super Dash, at an opponent, then press a button, a combo starts. If Master Roshi reverse Kamehameha's into an opponent, you can actually press a button afterwards. Here we see the player mashing the medium attack button. That's a standing medium into crouching medium into a special move that actually crosses up the opponent. So I believe that will be quarter circle forward medium and then the Mafuba. In a previous video, I did say the Mafuba was a level three. That is not the case. It is a level one super. That was just a wrong assumption on my part because of how elaborate the animation is. I just assumed it was a level three but now it is just a level one we've seen this medium attack auto combo in the trailer before but now we see what happens after the mafuba the player is snapped out so krillin comes back in and krillin was the first assist i wonder if you can actually choose the assist that you're going to swap to by hitting a button during the super animation but in this case it just swaps to the first assist that the opponent had master roshi does another super jump into reverse kamehameha and it's important to note that just like super dash this actually reflects key blast here's an auto combo in the air so jumping light attack, jumping medium attack, and jumping heavy attack. These three attacks in the air actually seem fairly standard. I don't know about the hitbox of that jumping medium. Doesn't seem the best on air-to-air -air situations, but we won't know until we test it out. The jumping heavy attack actually seems really good. After we land, we have his light attack auto combo, which is a simple jab followed by a flurry of attacks, and then the after image, which the startup animation makes it seem like it's actually a grab, an unblockable move similar to how Ultra Instinct does it. And notice that after the auto combo, there's no super dash, so Roshi just super jumps into the opponent to continue his combo right there. Now, I do like this little detail. As Roshi is falling down, he throws this key blast, but that key blast retains his momentum, so he's able to land while the key blast is still hitting Krillin. To me, this is very reminiscent of Goku Blue's key blast as well as Base Vegeta's key blast, which if you have played those characters or have played against them, you know that's a very powerful tool. Just instant air dashing into key blast leaves you at plus 10 frames or whatever. Very solid tool for starting block strings uh, or even making some elaborate combos happen. Master Roshi shows us another move right here where he crosses his arms behind his back then vanishes, and I believe this is a grab attempt, but when he starts the grab animation, Krillin was still in the air, so this is not gonna land, we're not gonna see its full effect. Then does the quarter circle forward attack motion, also misses because Krillin is in the air, but this seems to be some sort of grounded projectile. And then another reverse Kamehameha, this time it's not towards the opponent, and there was actually a little prompt on screen at the start of this gameplay clip that told us that uh, reverse Kamehameha is an eight directional attack. So unlike the Super Dash, where you always go towards your opponent, you can use the Reverse Kamehameha to fling yourself into other places. I believe this will be great for getting out of the corner, personally. After Roshi gets hit by the Space Goku Kamehameha, he actually loses his glasses. Every character in the game has a damaged outfit look after they take a certain amount of damage. But I don't think we've ever seen something as elaborate as a character just straight up losing their glasses. Another move that Roshi uses that unfortunately we don't see its effect on impact is this small key 
Blast that he throws upwards. Depending on its effect on hit, it could be a powerful tool. We'll see. That angle does seem very similar to Goku GT's upwards beam. Here's his uh, key charge animation, I guess. And now we get to see a showcase of his super jumps. They are not directed at the opponent, as we've seen before, which means he can do those super jumps to close the gap, but he can also just do them in neutral. And I'm gonna say unconfirmed, but it seems to me that he can actually control the speed of his descent and maybe even the direction just like a regular super jump. Now, if you didn't know, in Dragon Ball Fighters, every character can do a super jump in addition to the normal jump. If you press down before jumping, you'll notice that your character will jump higher than usual. And Super Jump has some other properties like the ability to flow down slowly. This is something that's used at high level constantly. Pro players don't just jump around, they usually Super Jump to get the upper hand on their opponent. Super Jump allows you to cover bigger distances. It allows you to mess around with the timing of your jump to throw your opponent off, leading them to think you're gonna land sooner than you're actually gonna land or you're gonna land later because you can actually descend faster with a super jump too. If they're giving easy super jumps to Master Roshi, that is a big deal. I doubt it will affect high level gameplay too much, but at lower levels, having an easy way to super jump, especially if you're able to block during the jump animation, it's gonna open a whole new world for lower level players, and maybe even encourage them to learn how to super jump with other characters as well. Here's the Dragon Rush animation. Since there's no super dash, Roshi just flings himself into the air by blasting the ground. I really love the detail on that one. Couple more super jumps, and that is it for Roshi during this match. We do have some extra clips, so let's just skip the video forward to them. First clip is a level one super. He goes buff and baseball bats the air. Unfortunately, we don't see this one hitting, so yeah, we don't get to see what it does, but he does have a level one super outside the Mafuba, which is a really good thing in case you don't want to swap out your opponent's character. By the way, I love how she's like, yeah, that move's done. Next. Good job, the jump girl. Here's the Mafuba again. This time it kills, so you get this extra anime that we've seen in the trailer too, and his victory pose, which I believe we've also seen in the trailer. A couple more clips, here's his super jump, and just look how far it goes. That's a full screen jump. I believe that's what they call the Goichi's moon jump, right? Where he dashes forward and then super jumps across the stage. Awesome tool to punish a beam or to punish key blasts. This clip is actually the perfect example, because you see base Goku throwing a key blast, and Roshi doesn't have to deal with that. He's right there. But instead of you having to do a complicated input, you just press the super dash button. Here we have his surprise lightning attack, which is an anti-air, according to the V-Jump scan that we got in the past. It's a long-range anti-air. We don't see what it does on hit because, unfortunately, it just kills base Goku. And then his level 3 super, the max power Kamehameha. Beautiful animation but it is blocked, so we don't know if there's anything that comes after that. But don't worry, guys, we got one more attempt at the level one super. Roshi goes buff, and uh, the video is over. And yeah, that's all there was. That's a decent first look at Master Roshi. Obviously not played by uh, a player that we'd like to watch him play. This is the moment where I really appreciate Bandai Namco for hiring Tyrant and Damascus, because we know those guys are gonna give us the stuff that we want, instead of the stuff that we usually get from Japan. But still, it answered a lot of questions that we had like what happens in a dragon rush he doesn't have a super dash and now we know that's probably the same that happens when you raw tag master roshi in what happens after a mafuba it does tag a character out that's insane i don't know how useful that is but th that's insane and i didn't think they would give him fully controllable super jumps if roshi can block during those jump animations and it's just gonna give easy super jumps to every player out there this might not be a bad replacement for a Super Dash. But of course, those are my opinions. I want to know what you guys think as well. If you want to watch me play some Dragon Ball Fighters, I'll be ranking up on Twitch. I stream every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And as usual, you are most welcome to sharing your opinions in the comments. I really want to know what you guys think of Master Roshi. And as always, thank you very much for watching. My name is Globku, and I'll see you next time. Boy!